when they serve low kai egg during the pre war day everything is done in a big pot well now i limit myself to chicken wing belly pork dessert or pork pig skin cuttlefish kangkong is a 100% cantonese dish which you can find at my peranakan store Hello, I'm Charlie from Charlie's Peranakan Food. I'm 64 this year. I'm manning the kitchen alone. My wife is helping me by serving and doing PR to customers. Because she's a PR manager. <laughs> Hawker store, don't use this term PR manager. What is low kai egg? Low kai egg is braised chicken wing with a lot of pig's innards. Preparing low kai egg, the work involved is tedious. The sauce must be done overnight. Overnight, then ready for men. How you don't get the oom? Um. We got to be meticulous in everything. If it's too soft, too hard, too tough, complain. So the texture of the things that we put in must be just nice so the customer will enjoy it. The color might look similar to other cuisine. Hong Chao Chi and the Pranakan Tohe look similar in color, but entirely different in taste. Low Kai, the base is Lam Lu. The taste of it is more to the salty and sweet. Whereas Tohe, the base is Chin Chalo, salty. Lukai is very, very popular in the past due to not much variety of food. During my younger days, we don't have things like KFC and hamburger. There was this old man that walked past my house every night. He would scream at the top of his voice, Low Kai Egg. So my mom occasionally she would buy for us to eat. It's considered a treat because during our younger days, we were not that well off. It happened that my mother is very good cook. She managed to replicate what the old man was selling when we were kids. So she passed it down to me. Why we serve it? Because the Peranakan love eating it. Since I got the recipe, might as well serve it. So that the future generation can get to enjoy it.